Hi guys, welcome back to Kent Survival Channel. Andy here. As you've probably just seen, I've uh, just done a, a, a bit of mile hike in with the uh, sledge with the bag and that on. Probably overpacked, but didn't want to get cold. Yeah, so this is it. This is the Beast of the East storm, apparently. Uh, come over from Siberia and Scandinavia to uh, blanket us with uh, snow. Uh, first time we've had snow down here in the south for quite a while now. So pretty happy. Get out, get to come out and have a snow camp. Still a bit knackered from that walk to be honest. <laughs> so I wish I'd uh, got up here a couple of days ago and put the tarp up or something, but uh, yeah, a bit of snow clearing is probably the first job. Well, having a rest is the first job. I was going to start clearing out all this snow, but um, I've just cleared it off the frame here and putting up the tarp as there is snow forecast for this afternoon. So. Yeah, I thought it might be pertinent to get that up just in case. Then clear the snow, then collect firewood. Now most of the dead standing is going to be under this snow, but I know where there's some proper dead. I know where there's some proper dead standing over that side of the woodland, so I'll take my saw over there in a bit. got two tops with me today to do the um, superstructure kind of configuration, have a bit more shelter. This one's the uh, foil backed one, I reviewed it a while back, um, if I remember I'll link it in the description otherwise it's one of my first videos, I think my third, fourth video, if you want to check that out. Well it's not totally complete, I, um, I haven't got enough paracord for doing this much stuff so I've been using jute twine but just kind of tripling, quadrupling it up. I put up the reflective tarp at the back there and then I've overlapped this one down the back of that and kind of put some braces on and comes out over where the fire is. I might roll it back and roll it forwards later. I could even have it come down at the front to the uh, fire reflector. I'll show you around the back. And there you can see where they overlap and I've got some braces on. I might put a couple more on. It's not pretty but uh, it should work. The thing I didn't really account for is all the gaps that have uh, appeared over the last month or so in the uh, walls and the fire reflector that were chinked with moss. A lot of it's dropped out and uh, now that moss is buried below the snow. So it's because I've not been up here for a month. Well, I've been up here but I've not camped here for probably over a month now because I've been going about doing the other camps and that. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with this. It's sagging a bit here. I'll tighten it up here and there. I think I need to uh, clear some snow and get some firewood. It's half past two now. I've got till uh, half five, I think, is when the uh, sun sets. So quite a lot of time to prep. Right, off to get some firewood. I'm pretty glad to have this with me. <laughs> more out in the open here so there's a lot more wind but uh, as you can probably see there's quite a lot of dead standing that's quite easy to access. The snow's a lot deeper here as well so probably a foot. Let's get some wood. quite tell if it's snowing or the wind is blowing the snow off the trees. Yeah the wind's picking up the weather's definitely not improving so I need to get this cut and back to camp quick. I 
might have to find firewood a bit closer. <laughs> Getting around in this snow is it's hard work. This is good hard ash though. Well, at least I think it is. Every job's taking at least twice as long as usual. And it's not nice to drink freezing cold water, but you have to remember to. Plus I've not got on some of my base layers at the moment, so I don't want to kind of sweat too much. These uh, wellies are good, but they're not very insulated. I've got some thermal socks and normal socks on, but they still feel the cold. But I wouldn't be able to do it in my normal boots. Right, probably going to need another two loads like that. In case you were wondering, this is my view from inside the camp. I know I don't show it very often. And there's some of the wood I've been processing, the rest's in the little wood store, little wood shelter. Carry on doing that. And uh, probably light a fire as it starts to get dark. Cutting this wood's keeping me warm for now. I'm not starting the fire just yet, just prepping it because uh, I don't want to be about it too long once the temperature drops and that sun goes down. Should have quite a lot of firewood now, I've got all that and I've got uh, another two logs over there I think that I can break down. Uh, could be underestimating that, we'll see. <laughs> I've got uh, my bench I can burn and stuff like that if I need to. visible it is but the snow's coming now just as the sun's starting to set down so I'm glad I got most of my fire prep out of the way and the shelter up well I thought I'd brought with me a bit of a tinder bundle and uh, flint and steel but I appear to have left it in the truck I think so uh, it's gonna be the trusty lighter which I'm fine with because it's cold it says it's minus one minus two on the internet but uh, that must be down in the village I'm sure it's colder up here um, between minus four and minus seven tonight see so, yeah, I'm gonna get this going can't see the Sun anymore <laughs>
I've still got the tarp above me here. If it looks like it's getting hot, I'm gonna roll it back. Also just walked down to where they're doing some uh, cutting back in the woodland. Got myself, I think it's a piece of apple wood, cherry wood, something like that. It's a fruit wood of some sort. Uh, same as what I carved the spoon out of on my last camp. So probably doing something like that tonight as well. I'll just show you the height of the tarp under the fire. So far so good. Keep an eye on it. Big flames at the moment because it's got the kindling on there, but once the bigger stuff's on, the flames will die down a bit. <sighs> oh, it's starting to feel a bit better now that fire's on. That's good. I thought I'd just do some filming before I kind of lose light and then uh, put on dinner and that. I'd like to take a second to uh, thank my Patreons, still much appreciated. I should start saying thank you at the end of the videos or something, but it is really appreciated. Channel's grown a lot lately, um, 6,500, 6,600, something like that at the moment, which is just immense for under a year and a half. Um, I wanted to do a little something with the uh, Patreon and uh, start doing like a monthly giveaway, so when I reach target which is the $50 target I'm gonna start doing a monthly giveaway um, you have different levels on there so I'll have the second level as the giveaway thing so get over there if you're interested in that the prize will always be worth more than the monthly donation if that makes sense but yeah check out the patreon if you want to if you don't want to that's fine just enjoy the video I've got uh, some of the snow I didn't get off of the uh, frame here above me and uh, it's just melting now with the reflective tarp. I do like this tarp. It's a free FU from uh, AliExpress I believe. Sorry there's a robin right behind the camera there. It's been hanging around for a little while. <laughs> but yeah this is good so it's clearly reflecting that heat and melting the snow off of that. Gonna have to uh, tidy camp up a bit and uh, get ready for the evening.
well camp's a bit more organised now. I've got most of the uh, snow from around the bed, so I don't like touch it in the night with my hands or anything. I've pulled up a lot at the back, a bit of insulation there. There's one hole I've got to kind of plug there. And I uh, thought you might want to see this sleep system. So I've got um, right on the bottom there, a nature hike um, closed cell foam mat. I've got my foil windscreen protector thing, uh, sunscreen, just for a bit more heat reflection. I've got my uh, outdoorsman lab inflatable. I have a wool blanket with me, this is a British Army one. I've got my 3-4 season mountain warehouse bag and on the top here I've brought my summer bag as well just for a, a little extra there. So I'm going to put that bag inside that one. Um, saying that I've not even put on like, my down jacket or anything yet. But yeah that's, that's my setup on my raised bed here. I may have to rejig it. Just made a little hanger to put my um, gloves on. They're frozen stiff. <laughs> So I just put them quite near the fire, not too close, just to thaw them out, dry them out a bit, because I'm going to need them tonight, I'm sure. Well, I'll show you around camp, seeing as I'm a bit tidier now. I've got my lantern up, you can see the review of that if you look back on my videos. I've got the top tarp still up, the fire's not affecting it at all. I'm trying to get this to be a long fire now. Got my stump, my sleep setup. This is just uh, food stuff for in a bit. My bags, which I'll uh, put away in a bit. My windbreak. It did get very smoky when I first put up the windbreak, but uh, it seems okay now. I'm quite dry wood now. It's my uh, gloves still drying out, and my water was going a bit slushy, so I've uh, put it a bit closer to the fire. And the fire. It's not raging but uh, it's keeping me warm. The only thing that's cold is my toes. Uh, just, there's the kitchen over there. So yeah as you can see it's pitch black now. It's actually quite bright for the night because uh, it's nearly a full moon. trying to think if there was any new kit that I've got that I could show. I know a lot of you like seeing your camping gear. Um, got given this recently, which is, I've got it written down, the TNTOR Tintor technology, and this is their solar power bank. Uh, they've sent it to me to uh, try out. Got the solar panel on the front there, and if you push this button, you can see how charged you are. I've been using it, so I've got three bars there. Um, got a charging port and output on the front and the side, or the top and the side. And you've also got a very bright, or four very bright, just uh, blinded myself, LEDs. Now this is good because I was looking for one of these. and. TNTOR, that's right, <laughs> contacted me, sent me this one. Um, I was thinking of the summer and uh, hiking and that, uh, doing a couple of days on Dartmoor. This gives you, well, I'll give you the rundown. I'm going to do a video on it when I've used it a bit more, uh, but it'll uh, charge an iPhone 7 6.5 times apparently. So that's kind of, you know going to be an average there. It's waterproof, it's shockproof, all of that, and that's going to be tested tonight for sure. Uh, Dustproof and everything. Uh, so yeah, it comes with its own USB, but I've just got another one with me. I'll be putting it through its uh, paces tonight. I've used it a few times already. The uh, solar panel I've not really got to use properly because I'm in Britain, it's the winter. <laughs> I left it out for a little while and I got 1% uh, off of it, I think, when it was completely dead. So, uh, bound to perform a bit better in the summer. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. Um, you'll hear more about that later on. Um, that's about it, really. Got no new gear or anything, just uh, wanted to get out, 
make the most of this snow. I thought it was snowing, but uh, I think that's just ash from the fire. I'm, uh, it's quite a lot of snow on um, my wood that I've been cutting, so I've just put it in front of the fire before I put it on the fire, so I don't extinguish it or anything. Yeah, I might get on with a spoon, and, well, actually, I might get on with dinner, because I completely skipped lunch. Everything out here takes twice as long and twice as much work in the snow. That's what I've learned. I've only camped in the snow once before, that was up on Dartmoor, and that was, I think, the end of May or something, or the end of April. And, uh, yeah, that was a complete shock. <laughs> Just because it came out of nowhere, the weather was brilliant, and then that happened, and I nearly didn't take my winter sleeping bag, so that was a stroke of luck on that one. Uh, but yeah, it's not really getting any colder tonight than it's been on the last few camps, I don't think. I've been camping in minus two, minus four. I uh, don't think it's going to get much lower than that, but seeing as I had that sledge, I thought I'd bring the blanket and an extra bag anyway. Right, I think I'm going to get on with dinner. making a uh, jambalaya today. It's not going to have any shellfish or anything in it, just chicken and uh, chorizo. Torizo. Just to annoy the purists. I always associate seafood more with a, a gumbo than a jambalaya myself. I'm just going to prepare a bit of a mirepoix. I'll do my trisso while I'm here. I may have too much for this pot. Get that skin off. There we go, that should do. Using my uh, Schrad knife. You may have seen me use a couple of times before. Uh, it's in the uh, in the circulation for review. Oh, nearly lost it. Ah, I did lose it. I'll give it a bit of a stir if I can get that in there. Added some garlic into here, didn't show that. Just gonna add in the stock cube, chicken stock. And some rice. This is wild rice, not doing matters. I'm going to add in some chopped tomatoes. And my small tin full of spices that you may have seen in the last camp video. Just add in some of these. Now there's probably some salt in that stock cube so I'll And a bit of pepper. And a little chilli. Might as well put in a few herbs as well. These, if you didn't see the other video, they're just mini Tic Tac containers. Put them in a CRKT tin. Just 
going to add a little liquid to that for the rice. There we go. She's a good one for 10 15 minutes. Well, don't know how well you can see that, but it's looking pretty good. My spoon, which I started, well, sometimes I start dinner really, is uh, not quite ready to eat with, unlike the uh, week before last. <laughs> not used an axe on this at all to rough out, so it's taken a bit longer, but phew. we shall see. I don't even know what it's supposed to be yet, <laughs> but it's okay. I have a spoon. There's probably a little more liquidy than I'd normally make it at home, but it's looking pretty good. Got a bit of chicken and a bit of chorizo there. I can't see because I haven't got the screen flipped around. It's very nice indeed. I may add a little more spice to it. <laughs> right, so I'm going to eat this. It's been a while since I last checked in. Figure I'm gonna turn in in a minute. It's not that late, but I'm pretty tired. Oh, I tried budging the fire forwards a bit, and it's now not got the heat that it had, so it's smoking a bit. It's getting there though. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to turn in, so uh, I'll see you in the morning. morning. Uh, cold this morning and the snow's coming down. <laughs> Last night was okay though. It uh, the two bags and the thermal layers kept me warm. One of the warmest uh, nights I've had this winter to be honest. Um, didn't really use the wool blanket, it was just underneath so bit more insulation from below I guess. Yeah I've just got this uh, fire going again. Let it burn out last night. I couldn't be bothered with getting up and feeding it and all that. I was warm enough. Yeah so need to have a drink and the water's frozen so I can either defrost that or uh, melt some snow. Well there's my bottle of water. <laughs> Just leaving it by the fire to defrost a little. Wind's picking up. Just breaking this down because I don't want a massive fire. I'm quite a quick burning one. Let's do some breakfast. Got some Scottish lawn sausage for breakfast. Another thing I've picked up from the Scottish Wanderer. <laughs> Cheers, Stuart. 
the snow is coming down quite a lot now so I've started packing away the sleep system and that already just going to uh, have some breakfast take down the tarps and uh, get back to the truck just realised that in the uh, buns it's a brioche bun and it's uh, frozen <laughs> give them a quick toast needed this <laughs> the fires warm me up before I have to pack away in the snow so that's what I've got to do now well I think that's gonna be it from me uh, it's gonna be a bit difficult to film the taking down of the tops and that but uh yeah it's, it's coming down now <laughs> so I'm gonna get these down and uh, get back to the truck and hopefully I'm not snowed in well there's no accidents on the motorway Right, well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, I'll stick some other videos up on the screen now. Until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>